of all, we'll talk about this week, and then we got a lot of stuff going on next week, um, and how that how that plays out for uh, what we got going on with Experiment Three. Um, this week in lab, we'll divi divvy up lab between two things mainly. We're going to do the first part of Experiment Three, so Part One. Make sure you read that really carefully. There's kind of multiple steps involved there. Um, and then we will also be um, talking about the conclusion for Experiment 1's report. Um, and you will have, have quiz number 3 in there as well. When you come to lab, because we're starting Experiment 3, make sure you have your complete pre-lab for Experiment 3 completed and in your notebook, because during that quiz we're going to be checking for the pre-lab. So even though we're doing only part 1 this week, you want your entire pre-lab in your notebook. You also should know the IDs of your Experiment 1 unknowns, and then make sure that you bring with you your Experiment 2 worksheets from last week. All of that should be completed because it's due this week. Um, next week, we will finish up Experiment 3, and then the reason we're looking at your conclusion for Experiment 1 is because your first report is due next week in the lab. So um, you'll be coming to lab next week with this guy all taken care of, all right? And then a heads up for the future. Um, not this Friday, but the following Friday on September 27th, Open Lab is going to be 9.30 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. because we have a 3 o'clock chemistry seminar that day. Okay, so it'll close at 2.30 instead of 3.30 on that day. All right, so let's look at um, experiment three here. 